welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about five ways to have it the most productive day because let's face it, we all have really busy lives and an endless to-do list. So I'm going to share with you guys what I like to do. Some of these are a bit obvious, but I feel like we have to know how to do them and how to accomplish that goal. And if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are subscribed, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you guys don't miss out on any videos. And let's get started. I have a couple of tips for that. The first thing is to put your phone in a separate room so that way when your alarm goes off you have to get up physically and be able to turn it off if you guys are really stubborn and don't like to wake up in the morning. Another tip is to as soon as you wake up do not go on social media because that is a time sucker. I have spent about an hour in the morning sometime just scrolling through my feeds and looking at videos and things that are not productive at all and you lose an hour in the day and there are just so many hours in a day that you cannot get back. If you're trying to get out of bed and you feel like you physically cannot get out of bed because you are too tired, another thing that I like to do is I like to count to five which is such a weird thing to do but once you do it it actually does work. It's like a mind trick. So I just count to five and when I get to five I have to get up and I'll go to the bathroom, I'll wash my face if I have to so that way I can get up and get started on my day. I'm looking outside my window. The second tip that I have for you guys is to put on some pants. Now that sounds really strange, but I personally work from home and I notice that when I stay in my pajamas and I try to work from home, I'm most likely to jump back in bed or to lay around the couch. By putting on some decent clothes aside from your PJs, you'll be able to get motivated to leave the house and run your errands a lot faster. on my list is something that's really crucial and will guarantee results to have a productive day is to make a to-do list. So by writing things down, you're most likely to declutter your brain from things that are holding you back from being productive and that way you're less stressed. You know exactly what you have to do by writing down a list and it has been proven and research has been done that if you write things down, you're most likely to accomplish that by being able to cross it off after you're done doing it and then move on to the next thing on your list. You can write things down down in different sections like priorities that you have to get done today and then things that can wait but if you have enough time throughout your productive day then you can accomplish those as well and you'll feel so much better about it and you won't feel so stressed. I like to make my to-do list the night before that way I know what I'm doing the next day to make sure that I get it done especially if I have deadlines and that way when I wake up I know exactly what I'm going to be doing. list is to have a healthy meal. Now this will determine the rest of your day especially when it comes to lunch and dinner because if you eat a bad lunch you're most likely to burn out and crash and not have the energy to go on with your day. So eating a healthy meal is not always the easiest because sometimes you don't have the ingredients for it to make yourself lunch or you just don't know how to cook a healthy meal every single time. So something that has helped me a lot, I mean a lot, has been to subscribe to HelloFresh, which is a meal subscription service where they deliver to your door with all of the ingredients in there to help you to make a healthy recipe. And they're very, very simple, especially if you're a beginner when it comes to cooking and if you want fresh ingredients like fresh vegetables and fresh produce. I personally love the subscription service because it has made my life so much easier. I don't have to go to the grocery store, which saves me on time because everything is delivered to your doorstep and you can choose anywhere from three to four meals a week if you'd like. The majority of the ingredients are already pre-measured for you so all you have to do is put it together in the six easy steps and you can choose whatever plan you want on the app whether you want a classic veggie or family style and you can also skip weeks if you need to and select the day that's best for them to deliver it to you. I have actually been subscribed to HelloFresh for about six months now and I actually posted it on social media and they found me and reached out and asked if I wanted to do a partnership with them and I was so excited because they are so generous enough to give me a coupon code for you guys. So if you guys would like to try it out, make sure to go to HelloFresh.com and use the promo code BELINDA30 to get $30 off your first order. Eating healthier will give you so much more energy throughout the day and you're not going to feel sluggish and tired from eating like something that's bad or greasy and you're going to be more productive in the long run. 
tip that I have for you guys is to put your phone away. I'm sure you agree with me, it can take many, many hours out of your day by looking through your social media and going through your feed, but when you have to do something that's important, like you have to study for an exam, or you have to get work done, or you just have to run errands or do chores around the house, by putting your phone in a different room or putting it away, it is so much easier, and you're able to concentrate more on what's in front of you. For example, I like to put my phone in my drawer or in my desk as I'm working because I feel like it's such a huge distraction and that way I'm not tempted to get it. If you're too tempted to look at your phone, then put it in the room next door and also make sure that your volume is on high. That way if you get a text message or a phone call, you can go and pick it up if it's important, but if it's a notification like Facebook or an Instagram like, then you're not going to pick it up. That is all that I have for you guys. These are tips that have helped me tremendously, especially because I work from home and I have to tell myself what to do and if I don't get things done, nothing will get accomplished. And so I hope these tips helped you guys out. Let me know why you clicked on this video. Let me know what is stopping you from having a productive day or what you have on your to-do list today. I would love to know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys next time. Muchos besos. Mwah.